Hal Joey is the 15th episode of the second season of Full House and, as is usually the case, I really enjoyed this one. Most of the focus is on Danny, Joey and Jesse and we have some really sweet moments and some really funny moments as well. So there will be spoilers as I go through the episode pretty much chronologically and share some personal highlights and, in theory, anything I didn't like, but there wasn't. There really wasn't anything in this that I, I didn't enjoy. It starts off rather adorably with DJ and Michelle looking at pictures of cute boys in magazines. And Michelle has eyes only for Big Bird. And it's it's the first time I've really noticed Michelle getting a lot of laughs in this episode. And I do have a few specific examples further down the line that I can mention. But I've really noticed that she's bringing a lot of comedy not just with things she's saying in response to other people, but she's actually generating the comedy. And that's really great to see Mary Kane and actually getting the laughs from such a young age. It's so incredible to watch. We then slightly kickstart the main narrative. We have Michelle again with Danny in the kitchen cleaning and Joey and Jesse home from work they're laughing they're having a great time they're bonding danny doesn't see anything wrong with this at the moment but it's planting the seed for the fact that joey and jesse since working together have become a lot closer understandably and joey is danny's best friend he's been his best friend for many years we'll come back to that in a little bit and i don't want to say that there's a wedge between them but certainly with jesse spending a lot of time with Joey, it's almost like Joey and Jesse are becoming best friends. And even though Danny's a fully grown adult, it's still going to hurt a bit when somebody who has been your best friend starts to get another best friend. And again, we'll we'll talk about that in more detail uh, in a moment. The other part of the narrative involves the adorable Harry. DJ and Stephanie come home from school with Harry and... DJ teaches Harry how to subtract and Harry is so delighted by this that he just instantly becomes smitten with DJ. And I rather liked this, not just because it's adorable and funny, but because in the opening scene, it was all about the physical appearance of the cute guys in the magazines, whereas Harry is admiring DJ for her intellect. And I thought that was a a, a nice comparison that worked really well. Stephanie, however, is not happy about this because a little later on Harry comes back to the house and presents DJ with a a rather large heart-shaped lollipop and Stephanie once Harry leaves Stephanie calls DJ all kinds of names including my personal favorite a skunky rat and she thinks that DJ has stolen her boyfriend and it's adorable but it's also interesting to see what could potentially happen with sister dynamics and stealing each other's boyfriends further down the line? And whether or not that actually happens with Fuller House, I'm not I'm not going to say. If you haven't seen Fuller House, definitely worth watching. But I thought Stephanie's response was pretty reasonable and rather adorable. And this further progresses, first of all, with... Stephanie moving Michelle into DJ's room and moving herself into Michelle's room. She doesn't want to be anywhere near DJ, but Jesse manages to intervene. This is further into the episode, towards the end, and he grabs hold of Harry's hands and moves him around like a puppet and pretends to talk for him. And then DJ does the same for Stephanie. And what I love about this is looking at Harry and Stephanie's faces because they are trying not to laugh. And I think part of that would have been genuine, a genuine response to the situation. And I just found it to be absolutely adorable and a really fun way to bring that part of the narrative to its conclusion. We then go back to Jesse and Joey and Danny. And up until this point, things have not been great for them. And they were playing basketball. Jesse comes in to, I guess, collect Joey to go back to work. And that's the point where Danny realises that he is no longer Joey's only best friend. And yes, it does seem very juvenile, but at the same time, if it's not a situation Danny is used to, then it's going to take him a bit of time to realise that the dynamics are shifting a little bit, particularly between Joey and Jesse. So I don't condone his childish response, 
but I do understand it. And we get the flashbacks about how they first met. We see them as children. It's really sweet. And then they ultimately decide, well, Danny decides to go and dig up the stuff that they buried together. And while they're digging, they have this really beautiful heart to heart. And it's such a sweet moment. And I thought, this can't get any sweeter. This is so lovely. And then it does because they... They tell Jesse to bring his, his hair dryer down and that seems like a strange request, but it turns out it's because they're reburying the things they buried as a child, but now they're putting in something of Jesse's as well. And Danny realizes that instead of it being no longer Danny and Joey, it's now Joey and Jesse, he realizes that it's actually Danny and Joey and Jesse. It doesn't just have to be two of them. Together, they are a strong friendship unit. They have this amazing bond. And of course, they're raising Danny's children together. And it's it's a beautiful, beautiful moment that absolutely melted my heart. It's a gorgeous episode. It's uh, very sweet. The other Michelle moment I wanted to mention, the bit where I, I realized she's really starting to get her own laughs and play to the audience, is when they're in the basement in Joey's room and Joey and Jesse kind of scream, you'll know which bit I mean, and then Michelle puts her fingers in her mouth and also screams with her tongue out and she's doing this brilliant bit of comedic acting and it could just be the way it was filmed but there is this brief moment where it looks like she's responding to the audience laughing at her. It might not be but that's certainly what it looks like and, and that's kind of when I started to realise certainly with this episode that she's starting to, well, Mary-Kate and Ashley are starting to perform to the audience and perform rather than just, you know, saying lines they've been told to say. And it doesn't surprise me, of course, but it's certainly very interesting to see. And uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Pal Joey is an absolutely fantastic episode and one that I'll always enjoy watching. 